Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the best place to get your untechnical entertainment on YouTube, baby. I'm your host, Antoine. Stick it in my ear holes, Richardson, because I just finished updating my brand new LG Tone Free TS, or is it T80s? That's what they are. I'm talking Dolby Atmos, man, in earbuds. Like, I thought it was like, how do you do that, LG? But then they sent these earbuds over here and I'm like, all right, you're gonna show and prove. Check this out, Wilson. You gotta see this, man. So I just updated them via the app because yes, they are app connected, but I want you to see the actual earbuds, dude. Check that out. These actually look pretty good in my opinion. Then you take it out and I'll show you just the earbud itself right there. Good looking earbud, man. Hold up, Wilson. How do I look with this in my ear? It looks pretty good, man. Yeah, man. It's a cool design. <laughs> I like the way it kind of sticks into that little divot. That way the microphone can actually catch your voice. Cause sometimes with like traditional bud style earbuds, you know, your ear can actually block the mic. Whereas this one kind of protrudes out to where it's not a boom. It doesn't stick out, you know, too much, but you know, it still catches that extra voice. Let me put these back in to the case and let them charge up a little bit. Before I forget, speaking of charge, what are we up to 36 hours yeah. per, for like total up to 36 hours. And then uh, you can get up to nine hours uh, with just the buds themselves with the uh, noise canceling off, the active noise cancellation. But dude, we got some stuff I wanna share with you, man. Cause LG, they kind of did their thing when they talked. Cause like, it's like earbuds, like how far can you go with earbuds? It's just music, right? So they're gonna have to give us like extra stuff. So what they've done is not only do we have Dolby Atmos, we got Dolby head tracking. Dude, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Did you see what I did? <laughs> I'm getting too old to be whipping my head around like that, bro. <laughs> okay, we got Dolby head tracking. Check this out, man. If you're an LG guy for your TV, you can actually pair these to your LG OLED TV and you can actually engage in your, uh, your, your, um, your Dolby Atmos that way. I guess it's just a special relationship the earbuds and the TV are gonna have with each other. That way you get the optimal amount of Dolby Atmos. I keep saying Dolby Atmos because I'm thinking, how do you pull off Dolby Atmos with earbuds? Because Dolby Atmos means the sound comes from above. Like, you know, you could like hear rain or like a helicopter or airplane up top or maybe some, some gunshots or something like that. So I don't know how you're gonna pull it off with ear, uh, earbuds, but we're gonna figure it out. What else? All right, so if you're not into being, you know, unfit like myself, <laughs> you could actually whip these bad boys in your ear and then go do some fitness because yes, these are IPX4 rated. Meaning uh, as far as dust goes, uh, you might not want to do that because that X is questionable. But the four means you can actually get some sweat on these things. And if you get caught in the rain, don't be worried about it. Just hurry up and get out of the rain because they will be water resistant up to a certain point. So you ain't got to worry about the durability of your earbuds. But we got to get into these things, man. So I want to show you something really cool that I saw when I unbox them real quick. And then we'll talk about whether they you know, you know the magic word. I ain't gonna say it right now. Let's get into the earbuds. Okay, I was a little reckless when I opened up my box and there was this little packet here, man. It had these little like foamy things in there, right? And I was like, what is this? Is LG kind of trolling me? So I kicked it off to the side and just tossed these and they went flying everywhere. And then once I actually got into the ear tips, I noticed that there's some stuck in the ear tips here. So I deduced that this is actually a key element to the sound profile of these earbuds because it's in every one of these earbuds or ear tips. Of course you get two of them that are actually on the set of earbuds themselves, but then you also get a small, a medium and a large. And this is important because sometimes if you're like me, my right ear hole, the orifice is actually a little bit bigger. So I use a large typically on the right and then a medium and sometimes a small, but it's mostly gonna be a medium in the left. You could be loppity ear like me. So be sure to actually do a fit test to make sure you get the right fit because that's gonna be important to your listening experience. If you do not get a proper seal with your earbuds, a lot of people will complain, hey, I ain't getting no bass. These things are terrible. No, they're not terrible. You just don't listen well. So make sure you get a good seal for those ear tips and make sure you take some time to get the right ones. It's worth the extra two, three minutes of your time. Trust me. Now let's get into these bad boys. I'm gonna open this up one more again. And then, oh, you know what? Let me just show you the case while I got it here. So you got a battery indicator there. I probably need to charge this bad boy because it's like a neon green slash yellow. Should be probably like dark green or something like that. USB-C charging port because it does come with your uh, cable right there. But then you pull these earbuds out and then you stick them in your ear just like that. And then you become instantly handsome, right? See, see how much more handsome I am right now than I was before? See, not so handsome, handsome. 
just like that. Let me see if I can share my screen with you real quick. So here we go. We're sharing the screen right now. And as you can see, you got your tone free uh, T80S right there. I got 100% on each bud. Then we got a user manual. What? So this is just right up front. All right. Okay. Let me just scroll through here real quick. Give me a moment along with my earbuds, please. All right. So we got a lot of stuff and tab after tab. All right. So let's just go to the top and we'll just talk about each one of these things. So it kind of just tells you how to use them and get the best out of it just like that so you do have some touch controls i was actually concerned about that because i don't see any buttons touch once you get to answer and end your calls touch twice you get to end your call and control the volume uh three taps you're going to play the next song long press to uh, control ambient sound and noise canceling mode all right multi-point that's huge because wilson how many times you got your earbuds connected to your phone and then you want to like listen to something like on your computer or vice versa you're listening to music on your computer right and then you want to catch a phone call or something yeah so that multi-point is important or you know on a tablet watching a video or something and this is where it's telling you about those little phone pieces okay yeah so you might want to read into that listening mode with natural ambient sound oh i'm picking up more of the pc fan i can hear that like it's amplified it's so quiet yeah <laughs> all right uh then we got conversation mode I'll do it. It just brightened up big time. Now I can hear it. My voice is actually a lot more natural. It should also enhance my voice. Dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Wilson doesn't have a mic on right now. He's behind the mic, but man, I can hear you. Like, say something again. Hello. How's it going? Dude, that's that's good. Yeah. This is good. I'm impressed. All right. <laughs> I, I, I am impressed. This is really good ambient sound. It's so important to have good ambient sound with earbuds because you're already having something clog up your ear hole. And no matter how good that they claim the ambient sound is, you always still have something clogging up your ear hole. But when they actually have good ambient sound like this, this conversation mode, this is clutch because Wilson's voice sounded really good to me just now. Nice and clear, bright. Then you got an EQ here. Uh, it's not a customizable EQ. It just looks like you can have these five uh, presets here with immersive bass boost, 3D sound stage, natural and treble boost. Then we get into this Dolby Atmos mess. Okay. Oh man, and you got a custom one and two for that. I know, man, I know. Dude in the back is all like losing it right now, Wilson. He's losing it. I know, you want to know the answer to that one question you came to get the answer to. But do they jam, no. Antoine. 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 Oh, dude. Oh, my bad. Dude, I I'm sitting here. Man, <laughs> I'm sitting here watching... Um, what is this, Six Underground? Because it's got Dolby Atmos on uh, Netflix. I'll, I'm gonna tell you what, man. It's a very immersive film, okay? There's a lot of action going on, especially in that first like 10, 15 minutes of footage. Stuff flying from overhead, people jumping, cars exploding, people getting shot, squeezing blood out of places. Gotta check out the movie. As far as Dolby Atmos goes though, I don't know, it's like, it's hard for me to tell because there's so much action and I did not have the head tracking on, but you do get a very immersive sound. Ah, man, especially watching a movie like this. And I could barely hear Wilson. Wilson, how many times did you call my name? I don't know, like four or five times before. <laughs> Dude, my bad. I was, <laughs> I was getting into the movie. I was supposed to be working here, right? It is kind of work though, right? Anyways, I did test out some music. I tested out uh, Adobe Atmos movie. And you know what, man? Let me just put this in my ear. And then we're going to go back to, I got to go, let's get out of the movie real quick. Uh, I'm going to go back to the app so I can remember what this is called. Okay. So as far as that, let's, let's talk about music quality, sound quality. I'm going to go ahead and say it's top notch. Now these are for those people who are deaf, who need super loud earbuds. These might not be the ones for you, but if you got good hearing or decent hearing that isn't damaged, these are gonna be plenty loud for you and you will get lots of detail in your music. I did appreciate the detail I was getting out of there. And I kind of skipped around a little bit. I went to like, you know, a little bit of old school, like some, is it Ben Henson? I can't remember that guy's name. Just give me the night. You know that song? You know that song? I know the song, I don't know. Just give me the night. I don't know. <laughs> It's a good song, though. No, it's an oldie. Then I went into some tuxedo. Y'all know I like tuxedo. And some other stuff, too, right? But I really like the natural uh, sound profile they have here. And I don't mean natural as in natural. I mean natural as the preset that they have in here. And then I went over to immersive. And then I dabbled into bass boost. So bass boost, it almost like adds like a kick drum effect to all the bass. It's just like, 
And it wasn't like I was listening to live music with actual instruments, but I can imagine if you're listening to like music with a real drum set, a guitar and stuff like that, you're gonna get the details out of the guitar and all the instruments, but that kick drum though, oh man, with the bass boost, Wilson, it was like, oh, I, I wanna simulate a kick drum right now. <laughs> but then I played around with this 3D sound stage, which I actually, I really do love it because I like open music. I like feeling like I'm in an open environment with multiple speakers and that's the environment I felt like I was getting. It just opened up the sound stage quite a bit and gave the, gave the sound more, more air. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like you got speakers over here, not necessarily surround sound, but just spaced out instead of being shoved in your ears. You know what I'm talking about, Wilson? So, and then I went to the Dolby head tracking and virtual sound. This is so cool, man. So you can actually put this on, what is it? Um, it goes into like, ah, there it is. Like strong and weak. So if you put it on strong or, or like medium or whatever, if you turn your head to the left, like in the content is playing from the front, you turn your head to the left, you're gonna hear it more in the right ear. And if you turn your head to the right, you're gonna hear it more in the left ear and the right ear is then gonna fade out a little bit. Super cool effect that they can do. So when you're watching like, I don't know, maybe a bigger screen like your LG OLED TV, like, you know, your, your 85 inch screen, uh, <laughs> if you got that big, right? Uh, you know, if you turn your head a little bit to look, you can feel the sound kind of moving probably. That's, that's actually pretty cool for watching content and stuff. But overall, man, I would definitely give these a thumbs up, especially mostly for being able to hear, dude, the ambient sound on these things. It's crazy. Now, I know when you think earbuds, all you really think about is music and sound quality. And I will tell you that these are no slouch. They're actually extremely good at sound quality and, and instruments and stuff like that. And I especially enjoyed hearing that kick drum. But check this out. These are actually content earbuds. I'm coining that, content earbuds, because they help you enjoy your content even more than you already would in the first place, man. Between the Dolby Atmos, connecting them to your LG TV. And when I was watching stuff like on YouTube and, um, on Netflix, I noticed that these actually sound like a personal experience in my video content watching. So that's why I'm calling them content earbuds that you can also use to get really good quality music out of. But who am I, man? I'm no expert in this kind of stuff. All I know is I like to stuck stuff in my ear holes and get my jam on. Now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.